Hey everyone, I hope all is well. This is Arthur Morris. In this video, we are going to look at uh, solving these quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is based off of uh, a squared equals a times x squared plus bx plus c equals zero, given by this quadratic formula down here, where a, b, and c are uh, whole numbers. Okay. All right. So we have 5x squared plus 5x minus 1. And we can say a, b, and c are being real numbers. 5x squared plus 5x minus 1. The first thing that we need to do is to identify a, b, and c. So you want to make sure that your uh, expression over here is written in descending order, where x squared is first, then x to the first, and then the number. And a will always be the number that's being multiplied times x squared b will always be the number being multiplied times x to the first power and c will always be the number without a variable okay so we want that set up just like it is equal to zero and i like for the leading coefficient to be positive uh, that's just my preference okay from there we just substitute into the formula we have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four times a times c all over two a and we just replace those variables. So replace the B right here. So we have five and then we have five again and then we have four times A times C. A is five c is equal to negative 1 all over 2 times a again a is 5 and then from there we just calculate so this is just another way to solve a quadratic equation and simplify or uh, find the values of a quadratic expression just another way to solve a quadratic equation you can use factoring if possible you can use completing the square or you can use uh, the quadratic formula Okay, so now we just start simplifying, so negative times 5 is negative 5, and then under the radical we have 5 squared, which is 25, and then we have negative 4 times 5 times negative 1, so we have two negatives, so that would make a positive 20, all over 2 times 5, which is 10. So negative 5 plus or minus. So remember that plus or minus comes when we take the square root of each side of the equation to solve for x squared or solve for x where we have x squared. So 5, negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 45 all over 10. Um, now 45 can be simplified because remember the square root of 45 is the same thing as the square root of 9 times 5. And we can simplify the square root of 9 to make it 3 times the square root of 5. All right, so I'm going to simplify this a little bit. And it said to leave it as an exact answer. That means I don't want a decimal answer. And I'm going to separate it plus. And I'm not sure if they'll ask for a comma or the word or. Either one is uh, fine. make sure you follow your instructions so we have negative 5 plus 3 times the square root of 5 all over 10 or x equals negative 5 minus 3 times the square root of 5 all over 10 so we change this we split up this plus minus to make the two different answers Okay, let's try another one. All right, so here we have applying uh, the quadratic formula, exact answers again. And this one we have uh, 2x squared plus 7x minus 6 equals 0. So we have it set up like we wanted. The expression is in descending order, and my uh, leading coefficient was positive. So a equals 2, b equals 7, 
and c equals negative 6, keeping the sign that's to the left of it. All right, and then from there, we just substitute. So you see I just put parentheses everywhere, every single place where I had a variable, and then I'm just going to replace the variable with the number. So B is equal to 7, A is equal to 2, and C is equal to negative 6. Like so. And then after we substitute, then we start simplifying. So I have negative 7 plus or minus uh, 7 squared is 49 negative 4 times 2 times negative 6 again I have two negatives so it's going to make a positive all over 4 so 49 plus square root of 49 plus 48 alright so I simplify underneath my radical And 97 cannot be simplified, I don't believe. So we have x equals negative 7 plus the square root of 97 all over 4. Or x equals negative 7 minus the square root of 97 all over 4. Now a tip here, and this is not on uh, this particular problem, but um, let's just say uh, we ended up with uh, 4 plus 2 square root of 7 all over 8. Remember, if uh, these three numbers, 4, 2, and 8, are all divisible by some common factor, then you need to simplify that expression. So we see that 2 goes into all three of those numbers. So remember before we said we could factor out uh, the 2 that becomes. So I factor out a 2 up here that becomes an understood 1, which then allows me to simplify those 2s. So again, that's unrelated to this problem, but I just want to make sure you remember that uh, if you can simplify uh, this number, the outside number of the square root, and the 8 of all three of those have a common factor, then divide out that common factor from each one of those. Okay. Alrighty, I hope you found this video to be helpful. See you on the next one.